Are we consuming enough magnesium? Magnesium deficiency can induce a wide range of clinical complications, including painful muscle spasms, fibromyalgia, arrhythmia, osteoporosis, and migraines. A meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials with migraine patients receiving intravenous magnesium, 948 participants, or oral magnesium, 789 participants, resulted in reduced acute migraine attacks with less frequency and intensity of migraine. Orally consumed magnesium is partly absorbed in the intestine, primarily in the small intestines, and stored in the bone as a mineral. Excessive magnesium is generally excreted through the kidneys. Today's soil is depleted of minerals, and therefore the crops and vegetables grown in that soil are not as mineral-rich as they used to be. Approximately half of the U.S. population consumes less than the required amount of magnesium. Even those who strive for better nutrition in whole foods can fall short due to magnesium removal during food processing. Improved outreach and education may help reduce widespread magnesium deficiency and its related complications to maintain good health. It should be emphasized that vitamin D can positively influence magnesium absorption and support vitamin D metabolism. Healthcare providers should take the initiative to increase awareness of magnesium deficiency and encourage the general population to consume magnesium-containing foods to reduce disease burden.